Good morning children. Today we are going to start the new chapter and the name of the chapter is Central Processing Unit. In this chapter we are going to discuss the various parts of the Central Processing Unit by the help of the various slides that is present in this presentation. So children let us come to the chapter. In the very first slide you can see the picture of CPU and the full form of CPU we all know it as Central Processing Unit. This is called the Central Processing Unit and here we are seeing the picture of CPU. Now we all know that which part of the computer system is known as the brain of the computer. Yes, it's very clear. The brain of the computer is the Central Processing Unit. CPU is called the brain of the computer. Now here I, am, I have defined about the CPU, the short form of CPU, sorry, the full form of CPU is the central processing unit and central processing unit is also known as the brain of the computer. All the processing related work is done by the CPU. Now here I am describing the various parts of the CPU, the physical parts. The first one is the power button. The red color power button is used to switch on the central processing unit. In order to switch on the CPU, we press the power button. Now, here in the next slide, we are seeing the drive. This is the CD or DVD drive. Whenever we want to put the CD or the DVD, we are putting it in the case provided in the CPU. Now, this is called the USB port. USB port is used to insert the pen drives or to insert, that means to plug the keyboard and the mouse USB ports inside the CPU USB ports. Now, the central processing unit consists of various parts. They are classified into three categories. They are memory unit, control unit, arithmetic and logical unit. These are the three parts of the central processing unit and we are going to define it in the next slide. Children, here we are seeing the three main parts of the CPU. MU, ALU and CU. MU stands for memory unit. ALU stands for arithmetic and logical unit and CU stands for control unit. Now the functions of the various parts of the CPU are memory unit. It is used to store data and information in the computer system. Control unit. It acts like a traffic police which guides the data and instruction whether they have to go to the memory unit or they have to go to the arithmetic and logical unit. An arithmetical and logical unit is used to do the calculations. Now, taking input through the input devices or storing in memory. This is showing the picture through which we are giving input to the computer system. And memory unit is used to store the data and information. Now, processing related work is done by the ALU. ALU is used to process the data and instructions. That's why it is called arithmetic and logical unit. All the processing related work is done by ALU. Now, CU. Displaying the processed data in a location depending upon the program or instructions. CU decides whether the data has to be stored in the memory unit or the data has to be sent to the ALU in order to perform the processing task. Now children worksheet is there. Write the full form of CPU. Which part of the computer is known as the brain of the computer? Name all the three parts of the central processing unit. What is the function of memory unit? Which part of the CPU acts like a traffic police? Which part of the central processing